Hi everybody, Andy Irvine here at the Fraser Valley Elementary. I'm here with John Cat and the Grand County Blue Society, and uh, John's going to tell you a little bit about what we're doing here today. Hi, John. Well, this is a very uh, interesting program that we're working on. We're going to build cigar box guitars, as inspired by J.P. Soares, and we're going to have kids finish putting them together. We've already had kids doing the artwork on them, and now we're going to go ahead and put the strings, and pickups, and uh, then we're going to put them out for sale to raise money for blues in the school. And uh, JP, thanks for coming. <laughs> thanks for having me. Thanks for coming, JP. Yeah, it's great so you've been playing this uh, cigar box style guitar in your live performances? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually caught you at the um, Blues from the Top Festival playing yours, and you were getting a pretty excellent tone out of it. Yeah, it, it's a, uh, you put, plug it in the amp, throw a little distortion on it, and <laughs> You'd be surprised what sounds come out of it. Cool. And these other gentlemen are from your group that you yeah, tour with? That's Donnie, the bass player. We call him the Cougar. He's smooth like a cat. <laughs> Here's Donnie, the Cougar. Good morning. Hi, Donnie. It's a crop of cup. He's got a cup of uh, Joe going. And this gentleman is. Your name? Pete. Pete? Oh, okay, Pete. Well, thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for having us. We're having a good time. Yeah. So how many guitars are you doing today, John? We got 20 here today. Um, <coughs> we have a few missing, but this will help us get where we wanted to go with having 20 to sell. And uh, just so everybody understands, the cigar box itself is really difficult to work with under these circumstances. So I stole JP's idea of building a box. And that's how come you see these beautiful wooden boxes, so we kicked it up a notch. Very good. So these guitars will be auctioned off or sold off to raise more money for to uh, educate youth in the Blues in the Schools program? That's exactly right. We got a grant from Grant Foundation, and we're taking it, we're going to try to make that money back and some. So you can see these guitars at Fontenot's uh, restaurant in Winter Park, Colorado, later on today. So today the kids will be helping to assemble the various different parts that uh, go into the guitar, the strings and the pickup, and the, I see you have some tuners there. Yep, yeah, we're putting the machine heads on. They're a two-string guitar, so we're going to put two machine heads on each one, two strings on each one, and uh, then JP's going to show them how to, how to expect them to play. All right. Yeah, so it's all fun and games. Excellent. All right. Grand County Blue Society here at the Fraser Valley Elementary School doing what they do best, which is help kids and educate kids in blues and music and keep, keep music in the schools. And, then, and this is one of the oldest instruments known in the world. This, is a, this came from Africa. Did it? Yes. This is an African instrument, which I did not know that. I thought it was a deep south, but it is an African instrument. Is that right, JP? Well, it, uh, eventually they were pretty much, you know, invented it over here. They came over here and they brought <laughs> ideas with them. And it's basically, you know, if you couldn't afford to make a guitar, or you couldn't afford to buy a guitar, you went and bought one. Yeah, or not, you went and, you, 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 know, you couldn't afford to buy one, you had to make your a guitar. So they make one out of, you know, uh, cigar boxes, you know. Whatever they could find they around. Fine, yeah, bailing wire. And, different things. Uh, initially there's a thing that's called a diddly bow and what they would do with that is uh, just take it and they would tie a, a piece of wire from the top of a, like a, the this, this side of a barn or something, attach it to the side of the barn and then run it down and attach it to the ground, tighten it up and then when you can take a bottle and run across it and pluck it like that and that's that was called a diddly bow and that was the first Problem. I bet a lot of uh, legendary or iconic um, blues greats got their start on instruments like this. They did, yeah, yep. B.B. King, uh, just def definitely, definitely a, a lot of them, for sure. B.B. King, uh, <laughs> Albert King, B.B. Yeah. King, King yep. all those guys. Yep. Well, excellent. Thank you, everybody.